Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a uh, screenwriter's tip. It's really more of a general writing tip than anything else. Um, uh, it's uh, talking about finishing. Okay, finishing. How do you know when you're done? And that's a real tough call. Because for some people, they love to keep polishing and polishing and polishing and polishing and polishing. It doesn't matter what kind of art you do. Um, when I was hosting uh, my old TV show, The Comic Book Show, we were to interview Frank Frazetta. And unfortunately, we got lost on the way. Long story short, we didn't get to inter we never got to interview Frank. And it was, it was a real bummer. But um, we did hear an interesting story about Frank. And that was that he had this cover... He had done for Erie Magazine. And I think it was of a Jaguar. And he still had the original in his art studio. And he was still working on it. Decades later, he was still, you know, perfecting it. And just painting and painting and painting. And I just thought that was an, a, an amazing vision of this guy who was already at the top, you know, of his profession. Frank Frazetta that he was still trying to improve one of his works, you know? It, it would be like, I mean, if if you saw, uh, I don't know, the Mona Lisa or something, and like every day uh, the painter would come in and like, yeah, just touch it up a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, so there's no real end point. You can endlessly uh, keep writing and writing and writing and you can write stuff to death you can you can end up going the other way I've done that a couple of times where I I, I feel like I ruined something because I went too far with it I overdeveloped it or you know and I had to that's why I always set deadlines for myself now uh, for me I'm working on uh, book seven of the Pineys. I'm going to finish it today I'm determined to finish it today and get it off my plate because with the Pineys, my goal is to get, get 80 pages in my word processor, which translates to, I don't know, 120 on the, when the book comes out, something like that. So, um, 80 pages is my goal. That's what, that's what I shoot for. And when I don't reach that spot, then I have to start thinking, how am I going to get there? Because I, normally I write, I write pretty tight. I, I tend to be, you know, the guy who doesn't want to put any description. I go back and put the description in later because I can see in my mind's eye the characters doing whatever they're doing. And uh, so for me, I don't really need the description. <laughs> it's just slowing down the story for me. So I go back and I add the description later. So I'm about that point in the story now where I've gone back and back and back a few times just to add, I was about, I think I was about 15 pages short on this one. I mean, the story was over and I knew it was a little sparse in terms of the description and that I would go back and add things, but I actually had to go back and add small scenes and dialogue back and forth. Cause that's where I personally excel at. I think I excel at dialogue, you know, banter back and forth. Um, and that's probably because of my screenwriting background. So, you know, I'm down to this last page. I'm going to get to 80. And the moment I get to 80, that's it. I set it aside and I'm done. Now, it's not completely done. There's some editing involved because this is a, you know, keep in mind this is a novella, not a script. But I would do something very similar with my screenplays. I would get to the magic number, at least 90 pages, right? You get to 90 pages at least... And once you're at 90, you know, if the thing ends, you know, as long as it ends before 120, uh, it's over, it's done. And then you set it aside. Because at that point, I think you need fresh eyes. Now, if you're writing uh, for hire, uh, something that we all do, um, you're writing for hire, then you have to gauge whether or not your client really paid for the polish. If you know what I mean, because going back and polishing again and again and again, 
you know, at some point you have to stop because it becomes, it becomes, you know, it's not cost effective to write, rewrite endlessly. And sometimes clients don't understand that either. Clients are the ones that often you have to stomp on the brakes and say, no, you can't keep rewriting this. It's too much. With screenplays, you definitely don't want to rewrite too much because until you have a director involved and the movie actually might go forward and get greenlit somewhere, it's almost pointless to keep polishing something because you're working on details that are still up in the air. Yes, Dougie. Um, they're still up in the air because you haven't picked a director. He may want, he may see the movie differently and want to go in a slightly different direction. Uh, you don't know who's going to be the star, right? If you get a star who's going to take the lead, maybe the lead's a little, uh, younger in your screenplay, but your actor's a little older, you might have to adjust. Uh, maybe they want someone of a different type as the lead. They want the screenplay, but they're going to change it slightly. You might have to adjust. You might have to adjust the time period. You might not be able to get, you know, you write something that takes place in the 40s and they just, you know, that makes the movie too expensive. You might have to move it up to the modern day or adjust it somehow. So with screenplays, the important thing is that the story's coherent. It's, it's, it's formatted correctly. The page length is, is key. With novels it's a little more important that it be more polished. So, uh, with both, I set it aside and, you know, give myself at least a couple of weeks until I can forget about it and then go back into it. Now with the novellas, what I typically do, uh, I got to this point with number six and I said, okay, done. And I set it aside and I haven't gone back to it because I have to do, I do the final edit. Joan, one more minute. I do the final edit before I go to publish in this case because I can put it up on Amazon and boom, I'm ready to roll. Um, so that's what I'll probably do with, with this uh, book seven. I'm going to go back today, go through it, try to get another page worth of extras in there, maybe tweak some things, add a couple more lines of dialogue throughout the 79 pages I have until I get to 80. And then once I get to the end, uh, of the, the, the go through, calm down. I'm done. I'm done. And, uh, it's good to just sort of set that deadline for yourself. You know, uh, I believe it was Stephen King said you should finish a novel in about two or three months. I think he said three months, I think was the window. Um, yeah, you know, unless it's, unless it's very research intensive. And I mean, like you're setting this and I don't know, 1700s uh, Russia, and you've got to de detail every little thing, um, you probably don't have an excuse to go over that time in terms of the actual story. Right, Joan? Right? Uh, and if you're like me, you like to make up everything off the fly and you don't like to do research, you'd rather just create it all, um, you have even less of an excuse. You should just be, you know, cranking it out. <laughs> um so to some extent, you got to force yourself, you know, today I'm forcing myself to get to this last page. I've been forcing myself, forcing this last 15 pages, uh, very distracted with the snow and various things. Um, but today is the day. Today is the day I finish and then I celebrate by relaxing, maybe play some video games and say, hooray, book seven is basically done. And it just requires a final edit. And uh, that, that's the process for me. So I hope that gave you a little insight. If you have some questions or comments, put them in the description. If you'd like to check out my books, here's the Pineys. Uh, we've got five books online. Um, comedy horror that takes place in South Jersey. Also available, uh, Woke a a novel and Holly Woke, another novel, political satire. Also available on Amazon. So thanks for listening. Uh, that's it for the videos today. Joan and I got stuff to do. Got to dig out from the snow. And we will be seeing you tomorrow.